on the right side, I have the mailbox of a second tenant. So it's the same user. I'm about to go from one tenant to another, and we want to bring these emails over here. So you'll notice under inbox here, I have a folder called small migration test. And in this folder, we have three emails with attachments, even have threads, and we have some emails in the send box. And we also have this email here by John Doe. So these are the emails that we're going to bring. And the way we're going to do this is with a migration tool. Now I already have a connection to my source tenant. We'll just migrate one user. This fellow right here. This matches the mailbox that we have here on the source. So yeah, I'm going to move over to the next screen. And this is where we connect to the destination tenant. Now, as a reminder, I can't migrate within the same tenant. So I'm going to add that connection. So I can migrate absolutely everything if I want, or I can set a specific time range. All of my emails on the left that we want to migrate were uh, created on a specific date. So that's how I'm going to filter them. So December 21st is when those were created. So we're going to limit it to this. But again, I want to stress, do you want to bring absolutely every email since the beginning of time for that user's mailbox? You absolutely can. Do you want to just take the last six months and the rest can stay on the source? That works as well. So approach it uh, however you wish, uh, depending on your needs. Now, ShareGate wants you to tell it who's the user at the destination. We know we have Samuel Martin at the source, but who's that user at the destination? Well, I could look for them. So ShareGate will give you a, the list of users at the destination. But to keep it simple, you can just run an auto mapping. ShareGate will find based on the list of criteria, the matching user at the destination and map that user so that you can very quickly get to the migration. You can even create or export a uh, mappings file so that if you create it in the past or you just created it now and you want to reuse it in the future, it's very easy to do this way. And next, we're going to map the internal recipients. Now, what this is, is I'm just migrating Samuel's mailbox. But what if Samuel had conversations with Alex or with Audrey or with Chloe? Well, we want to tell ShareGate, who are those destination users that match those users in terms of internal recipients? So that when I click reply or reply all or so on, or I look at the BCCs, I actually see the right users. So we're going to map all of these users, again, just by running an auto mapping. And uh, that's it. We're now at the point where we're ready to migrate. We're going from this tenant to that one. We have our time range filter, which mailbox is being migrated. We even have all of our items here that are going to follow through, and we're ready to start that copy. We're going to see the mailbox emails appearing here at the destination. We can see under inbox, we have this small migration test folder, same thing that we had here on the source, in which we have our three emails. We can validate that the attachments came through, even the thread came through. We also have our emails in the sent items. We can see it here on both sides. And of course, based on that filter that we applied, we have that John Doe email that also copied through.